Joseph. What yeah? is happening? You can hear well? Yes, it's oh, good. Beautiful. We're good, yes. We're live. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Uh, hello. We are live at the 2CCX Mastermind in um, Excaret, Mexico. Where is Excaret, Mexico? Anyway, tell everybody where Excaret is. Excaret is actually a resort. Oh, it's a resort? Okay. Yeah, it's a resort in Mexico, Cancun. Down Cancun, so Yucatan Peninsula, Caribbean. Yeah, I'm a horrible traveler in that I never know where I'm going. Like people say, arrive here, I arrive there, and I never know where it is on a map. I'm like, I, I, I don't know. Um, you don't have to. Yes. <laughs> but also, I want to say, um, we're uh, Russell Brunson's 2CCX, which is. Uh, uh, entrepreneurs who are learning how to scale their businesses online. Would you say that's an accurate? Be successful, accurate, right? Yeah, how to be successful. Just helping people and make money along the way. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I want to tell you about the checklist I went through to uh, make sure we were good on the live. Oh, welcome to the Table Rush Talk Show live. This is the Table Rush Talk Show live, a live episode. We are live on Facebook. My uh, live, going live framework. Make sure, audience all, uh, make sure that you post the story. Make sure that uh, you your monitor mix, the sound is good, which it is. And then clean the lens. I have done all those things. He did. <laughs> I did. So we're ready to rock and roll. This is Joseph Molina. And uh, Joseph is a part of the 2CCX, and um, Joseph has a really cool story. Um, I'm trying to think of how to start it. Um, how did you find yourself in the 2CCX? What did you What did you tell me that? Tell us that. I mean, that's you know, two or three years ago, I had a kind of an awakening. Um, I had a business. I already, you know, I still have that business. But I, I started as just uh, as, as, as playing the game of being an entrepreneur and making money. Right? Okay. Just, you know, like attracted with, with that thing. And uh, I did succeed. I made some money and it, it's nice. But I fell myself into a little trap of, okay, what's the purpose? What's, you know, what's the meaning? I, I don't feel like passionate about that business anymore. Like, okay, I did it for the money. It's great. Okay. Now what? Now what? You know, what's the meaning? You know, why? Why? Exactly. So with that search, actually, I, 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 you know, hit rock bottom in terms of, you know, let's say finding my, my way into yes. this world. You know, why I'm here was my meaning, and um, that's that, that was my journey, and that's what I discovered. Yeah. And the whole process. And when I discovered that, actually, I wrote three books. Three books. Three books. The trilogy. Okay. So Which not three one. Three books. Three books. Hold on one second. Hold that thought. By the way, we're at this amazing hotel, the Excaret. It's more of a resort, so you can see the resort here in the background. Um, we've got what kind of birds are those? Paradise Exotic birds. birds. Yeah, paradise birds chirping. Uh, random people walking by, and then as well, I'm sure you just heard the cleaning cart rolling by. So perhaps there's a cleaning cart. Um, noises, distractions. But anyway, so you wrote three books. Tell us the title of the three books. So the whole movement, the whole, you know, project, it's called Vive tu Leyenda, which means live your legend. Live and your legend. Exactly. And that's ma ba ma basically focusing on entrepreneurs or let's say purpose-driven entrepreneurs, mission-driven entrepreneurs that really want to make money and impact and live their, you know, the top of their life, you know, in, in all areas, okay. not just economically, not just well, yeah. uh, but also with the family, with the kids, you know, yeah. having, having it all. Yes. So that's, that what means for me, live my legend, uh, live my best self in all the areas of my life. So actually, that's what I did, and that's what I wrote, three books, and you know what, I wrote, I wrote three books, and I thought, okay, now what? <laughs> how I'm going to sell those books. Okay. How I'm going to make people know about this. How are you going to bring those books to market? Exactly. Okay. And then I remember that one of those quotes from Tony Robbins 
I think it's Jim Rohn's anyway. It's like success leaves clues. So I, right? Success leaves clues. Success li leaves clues. Exactly. So I thought, okay, who in the world has written a trilogy? Yeah. And it's successfully marketing and then selling it. Yes. And just searching. Yes. Trilogy, right? And somehow, because I was interested in marketing, Russell Brunson came in. I don't know, like, hello, here's my book, <laughs> like, okay, let's see, that's interesting. And like, okay, I told you, oh, wait a minute, that's the sign I was waiting for. Yes. And so I went through the book funnel, and like, okay, that's how he does it, okay, yes. one book, flip of shipping, then, you know, we'll have the, the trilogy yes. box, and okay, that's how I actually got into the, to, to you know, click funnels wall. Yes. By trying to model what he was doing with the trilogy. Yeah. I didn't know about any back-end things and offers. I didn't know anything about that. Yes. I just wanted to sell my book. Right. <laughs> so I model his book model. Yeah, I love it. So, and Russell Brunson has dot-com secrets, expert secrets, and traffic secrets. Yeah. Those are Russell Brunson's three books. But real quick, um, Joseph is from Spain. Yeah. Joseph has landed here in Mexico. Um, so it was like a 24-hour flight or something ridiculous like that. And uh, or travel time, he's got a wife back home in Spain with three children. Yes. Yeah. How old are your three kids? One, four, and six. One, four, and six. Joseph has uh, his. The mom is staying at home raising the boys, right? Yeah, and yeah, homeschooling. And yeah. Are, are they boys? All boys. Yeah, two are, boys and one girl. Two boys and one girl. So she's raising the two boys and the one girl homeschooling. And I, before I was, we decided to do this, I was asking Joseph, I'm like, so how do you do all this stuff? And he says, well, I'm growing this trilogy business and doing these things. Your, what is the... It's live effect. your legend. Li live, it. live your legend. He's targets a Spanish audience. Yeah. Um, but he goes, oh, well, I have this other business that... Uh, is about classical music and I'm gonna let him speak to that for a second but the cool thing is he's got a business that he has created this classical music business that is supporting a family um, it's allowed you to venture here it's allowed you to start to grow another business but then I asked him tell me about Joseph tell me about how many people do you have on your staff in effect and he says I don't have any. It's all VA or virtual assistant driven. This man's got answers. He knows how to um, do how to grow a business. So we're very excited to have Joseph here. So maybe talk to that first business a little bit, and then about for somebody new who's like, man, I want to do that. I want to have a wife and three kids, little kids at home, and be able to travel the world and. Have no staff. Like, what? What? Tell me. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, that's that's a really nice angle. I think many people would like to have this sense of freedom of being able to travel with your family, not being attached to a job, to you know, to a city, to a location. So I can understand that. With my wife, we are like digital nomads for you know five years, traveling all over the place, and we we had kids along the way, and we kept traveling as well. But so about that business, it's because I was. Uh, you know, in my early life, I'd say, I've been 20 years of, I, I was a violinist. So I was violinist? A violin, yeah, violinist player. I, oh, I, wow. I played in the opera. and Yeah. So that was my life, being a violinist. So I went there and I, ha I have, still have deep passion with photography and everything that comes with, you know, visual arts and graphic design and video and stuff. So I saw that classical music in that moment was terrible at branding. And, and photography. They were really classical, like really like bad. Yeah, yeah, almost like uh, what you would expect. You'd expect like a classical music yeah. person to be in their shell, not good at, 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 at come, uh, what, uh, marketing or putting themselves out exactly. there or exactly. creating excitement around it. Okay. Exactly. So, okay. but a new, a new generation, you know, it's raising obviously, you know, young people and they want to be seen, you know, as modern people, like, you know, and they play, they, you know, they happen to play classical music, that's fine, but, so I saw a, a need in that market 
because it was my need, also for my I played in my stream quarter. And then so we basically created a lot of for, I started with photography. Yeah. So I for you know the ones listening here, I just follow a passion, follow the passion, something that I really liked, I really enjoyed, uh, and I got very good at. So I I mastered that craft. Photography. Yeah, photography. And what were you shooting? Were you uh, anything or landscapes or people? No, or it was portrait, helping them to, you know, portrait, explain, basically sp explain stories uh, to, to, to photography. So basically portrait, so, you know, for the concerts and, uh, and shows and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's how I started, how okay. everything began. And then with that, I started to travel, travel all over the place, in Europe, in the States, doing all kinds of projects. And from there, you know, things, things happen. When you move, right, the universe moves as well yeah. with you. So, yes. so then the musicians, the market started to tell me, hey, could you help me now with some promotional video or with the branding, with the logo, with the website? I'm like, sure. Okay. Then I was like, okay, I have the vision, but I don't have the skill, the knowledge to produce that. So let's go to Upwork or Fiverr at the time or whatever that platform is, find freelancers, hire the right brands, and start making a team, creating a team to fulfill that, those services to my clients. And that was the inception of my creative agency. Okay. That, that was the beginning. Yeah. That was the beginning of the creative agency. So what, what in that... People that are in that space of um, like they're they're that sounded really easy. That arc sounds easy, <laughs> right? But uh, what are the what what are the top lessons you would encourage somebody to work through or hang in there through? Or what what were what were the rough edges that you had to work through and, and learn? Or what are the key lessons? Maybe that's a good way to frame it. Yeah. From that from that little time frame? I would say for everyone that starts, kind of, or wants to start the business, or just yeah. at least be a freelancer at the beginning, it's just find something that you're passionate about, yeah. so you, you, you are passionate about, because you will spend a lot of time there. I'm speaking, I'm thinking more of the, when you started to reach out to freelancers. Yeah, okay. Right? Like, like how did you work through that? What were the, like, the key takeaways there? Yes, okay. Hiring is very important because you can go very, very wrong. Yes. And uh, so you want to find people that are bringing value out of the game. Okay. So already in your interview or when they, when they send you a cover letter, you want people that, that are talking about you. They, 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 they want to know more about you. They ask questions. They, you know, because those people are the proactive people that want you to succeed. And that's why they, they want to know more because they want you to succeed. They will support you and they, they will go the extra mile. So that's one thing. Okay. And the other thing is actually to see some kind of culture match with your mission or purpose or whatever you want to call it yeah. uh, with your business. If that person has some kind of passion with your subject, yeah. that person is more willing to go the extra mile. Mm. Because that person, that freelance, that, you know, that team member will be equally passionate as you to bring that service to the market yeah because he's passionate about the subject so passion so match culture, culture yeah yep. that, that was a big fall you know when you look just for people that are oh, okay this one will execute right my order that's not good it's not good you need vision match exact culture match so culture match and proactive match proactiveness and you can you can sense proactiveness or a gauge of or a marker of proactiveness is if when you start interacting or interviewing this potential virtual assistant yeah. or service person that they're asking about what you do they're trying to learn they're trying to learn about you your mission what you're doing first exactly to, to just just to mention something when you you know you post a, a job post on on app work or any on you know any platform yeah freelance platform so when i receive a couple letters say hi my name is 
this and I'm the best you know UX designer in the world and this is my portfolio and you know like I, I don't I don't read anymore because ah. they start and they talk about themselves I love that a and they, they make everything about themselves and uh, you immediately understand okay this person is is this person wants that for themselves okay. and you immediately detect that 10 percent five percent of people that are like I saw your job for us and I couldn't believe that you know something like this could exist because that's my passion as well and I love that and I did that something you know in the past but I really want to know more and and I would like to ask you some more questions and here are the questions and you want to you want to work with that people oh I Definitely. like it and it's worth the wait to find that person yes. don't take the shortcut and take the first person that comes no. at you this for the people that are listening and want to have more a uh, tactical approach on, on hiring there's a, a book that helped me a lot a lot a lot which is called the A method the A, the method. a method if you google the A method and hiring or something like that you will find out it's a very step-by-step -step way of hiring like you cannot fail with that yeah. method yeah so it's really really especially for key positions yeah, that's amazing. Thank you for that. Um, awesome. Uh, so I'd asked him, the business now, this classical music business, um, is running on autopilot, by the way. That, so I was like, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. pretty awesome. That's yeah. yeah, that's amazing. And to the tune where it, again, can support a stay-at-home mom, uh, three kids, young kids, homeschooling. So... Um, Super cool. I think for, for time-wise, um, tell us the... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think where to go from here. Um, so you, you start to figure out the virtual assistant thing, you start hiring. What's after that? After you hire? Meaning, where did your business go after that? You started to to bring, to find the players to help you. Yeah. And so what was your, what was the next arc of, of your story there or business growth or maybe I'm not asking that question well. No, but I understand. And after hiring, what I did is basically putting systems into place. Systems into systems. place. Systems. Yeah. So if people need systems, you need systems. If you don't want to work on your business, you have to work on, on one area, let's say marketing or whatever. Do that yourself learn that path together with your team member okay and then create systems a system a system so that if that person leaves the company because whatever happens yeah. you can find someone in one week or two and there's a system in place so you don't have to retrain everything yes so the system is there and anyone can come in and learn and follow the system and do a pretty good job and system i love that so were you strategically, as you were growing your business, typing out the flow, the exactly. this standard operating procedure, exactly. taking the time to, to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Taking, for me, taking the time in that moment is what allows me now to not do anything. So it's worth the investment. Do the standard <laughs> operating procedure. Do that. And it's... I've been doing that myself as I've been creating, learning how to do all the things that I'm doing. I've taken the upfront time to write out literally step by step by step and it slows everything down, it feels like, but it's so worth that, that, uh, that effort to create it. Now I can hand my son, for example, here's how we do this and he can do it for me. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And you don't have to do it all at once. Just yeah. take one little piece of your business, let's say publishing. Yeah. You know, or you know, how to take a video now we are recording, how to download it and make, you know, repurpose or whatever you want yeah. to call it. You know, those systems, those, those frameworks actually yeah. are super useful because otherwise you can lose a lot of time. Yes. And energy on that. So, you know, having those systems or having someone that has those systems for you. That would be, you know, super useful because it saves you a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. So, what does uh, real quick tell us what your classical music business is doing right now? Like, what what's it while you're here and we're talking? 
doing this? What is it doing in the background? So my team is working basically on creating websites and branding for classical music institutions, let's say opera, houses, concert halls, orchestras, in the classical music. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Thank you. The Table Rush Talk Show Live. I'm so excited to be doing this. Um, Joseph and I met with uh, coach, our coach Vince Green, and uh, and uh, we're going to go explore the, the the amazing property. And um, he indulged me by his willingness to play and co-create with the universe and go live. Uh, so thank you so much. And uh, thank you. yeah, indeed, and some great tips and tactics. So if anybody wanted to see more of what you're doing, where could they go? I mean. They can go to my profile if they are in, on Facebook and they will find a way to my website, funnel, and all the content is Spanish, so I'm sorry for that. But if you know a little about, uh, you know, if you, if you yeah, yeah. understand what's, what's Spanish. Your favorite, where do you, where, what's your favorite uh, website that's about you? Or, you know, I mean, like, uh, where, where, where would you point somebody? I mean, if you, if you type out Vive tu leyenda, Vive tu leyenda, which is a bit hard for English. No, it's but, okay. But <laughs> vivetulienda.com, that's my main hub, and you can find the rest from there. Fantastic. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. We're going to go explore, and uh, nicely done.